Hi kiddos, our first project is going to be on rainbow lines. You are going to take one thick line and you are going to um, include colors in that thick line. You need to do them very, very, very carefully. Um, and then we're gonna do more lines after that um to make a bumpy line and a zigzag line we're going to add um zentangles patterns to those negative spaces the parts behind the rainbow lines and then we're going to cut it up and glue it back together it needs to be well balanced it needs to be organized and it needs to be neat um, and I will be checking out all of those during um, or when I grade them. So let's figure out how to do this. Here we go. Okay, we are going to start by making our eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper into a square. So I need a ruler. I'm gonna line up my line with the edge of the paper. I'm going to make a mark at the eight. I'm gonna slide my ruler down towards the edge of my paper, make another mark at eight, and make a line going from mark to mark. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this time it's going to be a much smaller area. Make a mark at eight, slide it down to where you drew the first line, Make a mark at eight. And draw that line. Now you're going to cut on those lines. All right, great big alligator cuts. Use your scissors as open wide as possible. Put your paper right into that big opening and that will help you get nice straight lines. You can do this with pencil. I used um, Sharpie so you could see it. Now we're gonna use those lines that we learned in our video that you watched to create these rainbow looking lines. I want you to start uh, making a bumpy line, not teeny tiny. It's gotta be big because we're gonna make rainbows underneath it and if they are too small of bumps then you're not going to be able to make a rainbow line. So now I'm going to take one color and do a line underneath that bumpy line. Take a second color And do another bump touching the first colored bumpy line. Third, I might have you do four of these colors. Do them um, as neatly as possible, please. Then I'm gonna go back and do another black Sharpie line underneath that. And then I'll fill in that little space. Okay. 
and we're going to do this again with a zigzag line. Again, don't make your zigzags too small or you're not going to be able to get those colors in there. This time when we make our wavy line, it needs to go over or behind some of these other lines. So trying to take up as much space to fill in this paper as much as possible. I am going behind my first line, so I need to pick up my marker every time I hit another line. You're not going through it, you're going behind it. Now I want you to look up Zen Tangles on Google and there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of different patterns that you will be using to fill in all of these white spaces. You are not going to leave any white spaces. Even this little teeny tiny little guy is going to do, you're gonna put some patterns in there. Okay, so now that I have finished this, we're actually going to cut it up. So I'm flipping it over so I can see um, where I make marks. Um, and since it is eight by eight, we are going to divide this up into two inches. So make a mark at two, make a mark at four, and six. Now we need to slide our ruler down, line it back up again, and make a mark at two, four, six. Then rotate your paper, make a mark, line it up again, mark at two, four, six. Slide that down, two, four, six. And you're gonna have to line those marks up. If they are not even, then you are going to have to um, remeasure. So all of these need to be equal two inches. Otherwise, your squares are not gonna line up correctly when we glue them back together. You might wanna have a grown up double check your math for you. Cause otherwise it's gonna get messed up. And I would hate after you do that much work to mess them up. Again, big alligator cuts. Just 
Try to make them as straight as possible. And you can do these one at a time, two at a time, four at a time, but try to make them straight. hard to cut then don't cut as many because you're gonna mess them up okay now you're going to take another piece of paper and you are going to glue them on however you want preferably not putting the patterns side by side. Once you like your layout, then glue them on close together. around the edges so they don't fall apart. I have nice thick paper, but you probably do not. So make sure those edges are all lined up neatly. Make sure you have glue all over those edges. Take your time on this part, line them up nice. I shouldn't see any white lines showing through there. Okay, last but not least, you are going to cut off all the extra. Try to make it as straight as possible. There's your finished project.